the hell is up, world? It is me, Joe Kidd, a.k.a. Crutch420, coming at you on the first ever episode of the Crutchcast, the Crutch420 podular casting, if you will. Uh, this is in audio form. Some of you guys are listening to this at school or work or in the car or at your own home, and I hope you're having a beautiful day and you stick with all the, your goals and that kind of stuff. Uh, and if you're watching me visually, hello for the first time ever in 4K. Uh, for those listeners, I just waved at the camera. Uh, we're going to be sitting down here for maybe an hour, maybe two hours, uh, getting deep, dirty, raw, intimate, if you will, about this whole YouTube censorship of weed ordeal. Now, if you guys know me, if you watched my uh, YouTube channel for the last five years, Crutch420, you know I did a bunch of product reviews and, and strain reviews and all kinds of fun educational or informational seshes for the weed world out there. We, we amassed almost just about 400,000 subscribers, uh, and that is all gone now. All of those almost 500 videos have all been deleted, all been taken away, and I've been at a back and forth for multiple weeks uh, that has unfortunately now ended with YouTube, actual YouTube people. That's right. For a long time, we were dealing with the uh, the automated system. The AI was sending us emails and uh, flagging our videos and that kind of stuff, but they 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 are making a damn fool of themselves. That's just to say the least. And we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna really crack this one and uh, crack it open here, folks. So uh, uh, buckle up, uh, get a nice glass of water, cause it's 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 time. It's here. We're here. We're gonna get into it on episode one of the Crutch Cast. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, it's another weird thing about this crutch cast is not only have I never, ever been on a podcast or done anything like this, all my crutch videos were pretty damn heavily edited and sometimes scripted. So for me to be here raw, uncut, coming at you, that's a scary new deal. I mean, my nose is running right now and usually I could cut this out, but I'm not going to cut it out because I want this, I want this real. I want you guys to feel and connect with me here because, because it's a, it's a heavy episode. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, so, like I said, we're going to get real deep into the censorship here, and I think to start it off, uh, we start back at the beginning, you know, five years ago, I started this YouTube channel I was just talking about, uh, and at the time, it was it was compliant with the YouTube community guidelines. We were not breaking any of their rules because what we weren't doing illegal drugs, we weren't selling illegal drugs, we weren't selling anything ourselves. Uh, so we really were compliant, and then if you guys remember two years ago now, I think maybe a little over two years ago, all of a sudden, every weed channel just poof, got deleted, and they cited community guidelines, and everybody was like, yo, what the hell, you can't just do that, you can't just take away years of work, and you know, for a lot of people, including myself, you can't just take away my career like that, but they did. Um, and so then, if you remember, a lot of us were trying to get back and forth with YouTube for a long time, and they didn't say anything. They didn't clear the air for any of us weed content creators on YouTube uh, until, you know, maybe two months later, then poof, out of the blue, uh, the, I started getting notifications. People were commenting on my videos, and I was like, what? My YouTube channel's back up. That is absurd. I thought YouTube ended this all. Uh, so I looked into it, had an email from YouTube saying that, you know, after further review and a lot of meetings on there and discussing how to handle it, somebody, some employee at YouTube, who I see you, I respect you, uh, convinced them that it was okay for people like me in a state like Colorado to smoke legal weed and review and educate our viewers legally uh, as long as it was age restricted, which is great, totally. Age restrict us all day. I'm not trying to talk to kids here. I'm trying to say words like shit. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we we were back. We were compliant. And they said, hey, we looked at it again, and you are up to date, even with our updated community guidelines. No strikes on the channel anymore. It was just back, baby. Everything was normal. Well, except for that long psychological abuse of not talking to us uh, and deleting the channel for two months. Man, that messed me up. Uh, so we went through this crazy roller coaster where we thought everything we had built was taken down and taken away, and then it was put back up, and we were in a bad place for it because we never thought it would be put back up. So since then, we've been working very, very hard to get back to what Crutch used to be, what our YouTube channel used to be like, you know, daily seshes, that kind of gig. 
And it's taken a long time because we are stuck in a process of building a house, which we'll get into later in this episode. So stay tuned. Buckle up. We'll get to that update. Um, And we've had some issues with building that house, and it's still not complete two years into the project. So we never had a consistent studio, never had a consistent place to live over these years while trying to get back to uh, normal in this mess that YouTube created for us. So we finally, you know, just this was about a month ago, maybe two months ago now. I was like, you know what? I feel good. I got a good rental. Uh, Let's do it. Crutch daily videos once more. I'm going to put it down in stone and get at it. And ladies and gentlemen, if you follow me, you knew I got seven days into it. And I was feeling so damn good about it. It was my first sniff, my first smell of normalcy. Yeah, I'm high right now. We'll talk about that too. (laughs) But it's definitely going to mess with my words and the way that I'm talking. Uh, So I just got back at it and I was feeling great. You know, we were back. Daily crutch videos. The views were doing good. The interactions were great. The comments, you guys, oh my God, were amazing. It was great to hear from all of you after such a long, termulous uh, process. Is that also even a word? We'll find out in post, that's for sure. Uh, and then, so like we were, we were going good a week of daily videos with the intention of a year of daily videos. Cause that's what we did when we started the channel. And that's what led to our success, that kind of consistency and commitment to the game. Uh, so then I went to upload a video number eight and right as I was going to upload it, I got a notification from YouTube saying that they put a strike on a couple of my videos saying citing that they were harmful and dangerous and specifically smoking pure cbd uh is harmful and dangerous which is absurd as you guys know cbd is federally legalized your grandma uses it my grandma uses it everybody uses it so like there's, there's we don't even need to have a discussion if it is okay or not that's already been done that's already had uh, but in YouTube's eyes, they're saying it's the same as meth, baby. That CBD and meth go hand in hand, according to them. Uh, so, but they put two strikes on my channel, which means that I couldn't upload for two weeks. I was on a two-week YouTube ban, and that messed with me. Messed my head up, messed everything, because like I said, I had just finally got back to daily videos, got back to the to the sense of the normal crutch lifestyle, of the, the, the normal YouTuber job style. You know, that's what I've been doing for years here. That, that's my gig. Uh, and so I was crushed. And I was like, all right, two weeks. I'll see you guys in two weeks. I didn't post on Instagram very much. I think like one, or, one or two times. I didn't even check YouTube because my soul was crushed by the man. Uh, and I kind of went on this crazy, dark, downward spiral for two weeks there. And granted, we're talking about a month ago here. Uh, so I was, I was just so messed up. I was like, how uh, psychologically, how do I even, uh, fathom what the hell's going on with my hobby, with my career, with my interests, with my channel, you know? Um, and then I, I built myself back up. I got really low there. I didn't even touch a camera or film a video or anything, which is crazy for me. That's my, that's, that's my thing, as you guys know, uh, and then I was like, okay, tomorrow I can finally upload again. So I, I shaved, I, uh, I trimmed the hair, I got all clean, got a nice outfit going, rebuilt a set here at the uh, beautiful Fox in Walsenburg, Colorado, uh, and got super pumped to do it. And literally as I was like pushing record on the camera, I got an email from YouTube that just crushed me. It broke my heart, my stoner heart. It, uh, it, was, it was very hard to understand. Um, they said, hey, we know that you're back from your two-week ban today, but before you do anything, we had a meeting and talked about it and decided that until federal legalization, you can't have a YouTube channel and that your, your, uh, your channel will be permanently deleted until then. Uh, so I was like, what, what, what do you mean permanently deleted until then? And, you know, a lot of mixed messages there and I'm getting stressed out just even talking about it and reliving this moment right now in my head. Uh, but I, they said it was gone and I was like, oh my God. And I was, I was crushed. I just barely crawled out of that depression hole. Uh, and so called my wife and I was like, Hey, you need to leave work and pick me up. I'm not in a good place. Tore down the set, tore, put my camera away and everything and was just done. And there was, you know, this, 
feels like forever ago, but it's only a week or two ago that this happened. Uh, and then I had another like week ish. Uh, I don't even know how long where I was just like more depressed than I've been in my adult life. That's for sure. I was very just, just lost. That's probably the best way to, to say it. Uh, cause I got so much, so much going on in my life. You know, I've been married for three years now. And, uh, like I said, we have this ongoing house build project that I'm trying to save up some money to finish this house, to move into it, to make the investment worth it at all. So, uh, if anything, I was working so hard and needed crutch to work. I needed crutch to work on every level, but especially as a job financially, because I needed to stay alive and pay the bills and hopefully, finish my house someday. Uh, I'm going to backtrack a little bit here before we get into what happens next in the story. So those two weeks where I was banned on YouTube, there was a very crucial thing that happened in those two weeks called uh, Medusico Presents Halloween featuring Crutch420. And you guys know if you watch the channel or followed me on Instagram, I promoted that and uh, and it was a big deal. It's something I, I felt very, uh, very emotional about, really, because I've never done a uh, meet and greet in the five years of the YouTube channel. I never had an event. I've never done anything live on a stage before. So it was a really big deal. And I was excited by the opportunity, um, but also just really touched because, you know, we live in, we've moved to this beautiful town here in Wallisburg, Colorado, and we're really trying to be a part of the community and uh, make friends and long-lasting connections, because if everything goes well and we finish our house and love it, we'll live here for decades. So we really wanted to try hard to get integrated into the community and uh, start talking to this dispensary who's already talking to the theater, and they were going to do a charity event, and the guy in charge was like, oh my gosh, let's finally, let's pull the trigger. Let's do a weed event. I mean, we got a weed guy. We got the theater that needs money. We got to do a celebration for our one-year anniversary. And it came together as this really cool thing where I was just going to be, my, my job essentially was just to, uh, to walk on stage and, and host some, host the things and introduce the comedians and, and the bands and, and, uh, make some announcements of the prizes, but just to be the face and the host to show up and have a good time. Uh, so along the way of, of that happening, the guy who was in charge of the event got, ran out of town. He did some some very shady things uh, that I won't even get into because I, I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't there. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, you, you got to do something to get ran out of town. But um, we were like, okay, well, that obviously means the Halloween event featuring me is canceled and over. Obviously, it was that guy's brainchild. But no, the, the, the company that was supposed to uh, invest and uh, sponsor it, Medusico, said, hey, more than ever, we're doubling down. Fuck that guy. We don't need him. More so than ever, you got our support to do this event, so let's do it. Uh, and so we're like, okay, cool, but also who's going to do all the work because the guy who's supposed to throw the event is gone. So then it turned into, like, my wife and I uh, really having to put it on our back. And, you know, a lot of there's amazing volunteers here in town and at the theater and from the dispensary that really made a massive difference and gave – Tons and tons of free labor and free hours for the weeks running up to the event. But with no experience on event planning or no intention of event planning, uh, all of a sudden it really was it was put on us. And that was uh, very heavy. And I thought that at least it'd be a great opportunity to share with the channel and uh, advertise on the channel to give you guys every chance you got to come here to sesh with us and win prizes and everything. Uh, and YouTube deleted us during, you know, put us on those two week ban. So I was like, okay, great. We are not even, we can't even, it's not even about YouTube or the video or anything anymore. It's just about this event. I can't even make videos. So, uh, the only thing that got me out of bed during the, that sad part of the sad two week ban was that I was like, somebody's got to do this event. We got people coming and, uh, there's, there's a lot of things that aren't ready. And guys, it really came down to the last second of just putting things together uh, because there wasn't, there was no event coordinator anymore. There's like no, nobody in charge. Nobody was employed or paid. It was a charity event. Uh, so we really just last second had to look around and be like, I guess, can you do that? Cause that needs to be done. Can you do that? Cause that needs to be done. I guess I'll do this. I guess I do this. So my wife and I were spending 12 hours at the, at the theater a day, getting ready, doing all the, you know, decorations, prize bags, get everything set up. 
And like I said, I'm not trying to take full credit for it because there was some amazing people who who really made this event happen, and I am forever grateful for for all of their help. Uh, but it's always, it was a stressful thing that was supposed to be a happy thing for me, and I couldn't even share it on the channel. Uh, I couldn't even make my final, like, I couldn't even make a video about it to share this huge experience that's supposed to be for you guys, the fans, the viewers of Crutch420. Uh, and it just ended up being an angry thing because there was nobody running it. Obviously, it didn't go as well as people had expected. The sponsors were like, oh, that's not what I expected. So they didn't, they ended up backing out on their end of things. So, uh, I mean, the good news is that we did raise $1,000 for the uh, theater, which was the whole shebang. The whole idea was to uh, to raise money because it needs a, desperately needs a renovation. And we not only broke even, but got $1,000 for the theater, which is fantastic. And thank you sincerely if you're watching this or listening to this and uh, you came out to the event thank you so much for coming but i mean i think i fell asleep at 10 that the event went till 2 and i was asleep by 10 just cuz i was so exhausted and so stressed out and uh you know it became a, a crazy hectic thing that was originally supposed to be a nice thing so uh that happened and it was really stressful during that two week ban and i was going to come back and tell you guys about all about it on the channel and i never got the opportunity to um, so that happened. And then also during that two week ban, the car that I bought five months ago, four months ago, uh, just died, just stopped working. I went out to my driveway one morning and it was like literally pissing fluid, just like dumping what it had inside of it, which I'm not even a car guy, but I know that's not right. I know it's not supposed to do that. Uh, and I was crushed because uh, I had bought a car, a really nice expensive car, four years ago that was supposed to last forever that died six months ago. And then I had to buy this car that I'm talking about that died, you know, this last month. Uh, and so in the world where I'm desperately trying to, when I'm hurting in the job world and I'm desperately trying to finish my house, I had to use all my savings to buy a used car, uh, which is okay. I mean, that's life, right? It happens to everyone. Uh, but it only worked for four months and then, uh, so, and it was completely shot. I mean, they want like seven, the blow, blew the head gasket on a V8 truck and they won't work on it for like less than $6,700, which is more than I paid for it. Uh, so really got screwed on, on that situation. And so I didn't have a channel, didn't have a job. The event was going crazy bad and my car, my only car died that I already had to desperately get and scrape together all my savings for. Uh, so I didn't, I didn't have a car, didn't have anything. So I was even more crushed and so sad and so lost. I just, I genuinely did not know what to do, where to go, uh, what the next step was or, you know, what the future even looked like, you know? Um, and so then I had to use my, the last check I ever got from crutch before they deleted it. I used it all on buying another just cheap used 2001 car that is just to get to, to, to point A and point B to get my wife to work, to uh, get groceries. We, we, uh, live 20 minutes out of town. So we have to, we need a car, you know, to function. Um, so, so there I was, at least I had a car, but I had, I had wasted $10,000 in the last six months with nothing to show for it. And, in auto things, uh, didn't have a, didn't have my job anymore. Didn't have my, didn't have my channel. Uh, didn't have, any money i'd spent all my last sponsorship money from crutch on these stupid car issues that have just screwed me uh and i was so that you know i was feeling really bad and this leads up to that day where i where i was uh just about to push record and youtube notified me that i could no longer be a part of youtube and so I was crushed even more. I know I've said I've, I was crushed multiple times in this this podular casting, uh, but like I, that's how I feel. I've just been I've been been getting eaten alive by the by the way that life just is. You know what I mean? Uh, so no channel, no money. Uh, even further away from my goals with this house. Uh, just so sad and depressed and stressed, which of course was putting a lot of pressure 
on in my marriage. And of course, my wife's not going to be super stoked that her husband's everything her husband's put his adult life towards work wise just went up in in flames for such a dumb reason. Uh, so then I was I was just I was crazy, man. It was crazy. I barely even felt alive. And this was like I said, like uh, I think a week ago. These days have been crazy. Uh, then I talked to some great people. Talked to my friend Cooper. Talked to my dad. Uh, shout out my dad. Shout out Cooper. Um, friends and family. And uh, heard from a lot of you guys. A lot of you people reached out on Instagram and said some great words. And I I woke up a couple days ago and I was like, I got it. I'm reborn. I'm no longer a YouTuber. I'm now a podcaster. Uh, so I've been pulling the strings the last few days and setting up and testing, and and here we are. I mean, I got some lights. I got a cool mic thing with the weed green, you know, the signature crutch green pop filter. Does it work? Pop, 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 pop. Did the pop filter work? Um, and then, of course, I used to film on a DSLR, and you can't you can't do a podcast on a DSLR because you know. Battery life, recording size, yada, yada, yada. So we're over here filming this on a my brother's old Google Pixel 2 in 4K, which is the first 4K crutch video. Um, and so the cell phone's just sitting there. I don't know if it's even recording, but I do have my webcam back here on the computer that is running the audio. So it, it we, we got it. I mean, we got it. It's, it's, it's Frankenstein, but this is like a real deal setup here. I keep moving further away from the mic, and I apologize. Like I said, I'm new to the podular casting, but I will get used to it. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, and I'm open. I'm open to hear what you got to say. Please send your send your review on my way. I think like the only way you can get a hold of me uh, directly. That's not true. I'm updating this, and we'll get into that. But you know, hit me up on Instagram at crutch underscore four twenty. Uh, so I, yeah, I had this great idea. I was, like I said, I was reborn do I'm a podcaster, baby. Lock the gates. Uh, hey, Nog, man, uh, uh, re- references to other podcasts. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a huge podcast listener, long time listener, first time caster. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I got it together. So we're here. So let's, 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 uh, let's, Let's talk about that in a little bit because I want to finish up the whole thing with YouTube. So I had this idea for the podcast to do it in the audio forms on all platforms and in the video form here, like we were just talking about equipment wise. Uh, But up to date, modern compliance with YouTube's community guidelines. Uh, So and I was inspired because I said, you know what, I can do this. On you know I can I'm, I'm gonna pitch this to YouTube I'm gonna beg them to give me my channel back I'm gonna follow all the rules uh, and even if they don't allow me I can still do it on a new YouTube channel um, which we are on a new YouTube channel so subscribe by the way Crutchcast new YouTube I don't have my other channel anymore uh, obviously at this point in the in the podular casting. Um, but so, so this is how that went. I I got all encouraged. I made a plan. I researched, I studied the new community guidelines that were even updated again yesterday here on YouTube. Uh, I also did a bunch of research on TV rules just to kind of get familiar with what you can do, show and say on different mediums of entertainment. You know what I mean? Uh, and this is what I came up with. What you're watching right now, look, there's no drugs on this table. I'm not smoking. I'm high as a kite, and that's my right, and I'm allowed to say it. Uh, um, and I, so I, I pitched that to YouTube. I said, yo, we're going to switch. We're going to, let's, first of all, all those previous videos that when they were updated were up to community guidelines, I acknowledge are not up to code with the new modern day YouTube community guidelines. So forget about them, scrap them, leave them deleted. But, you, Mr. YouTube, dear sir, great one, I still have a, a duty, a, uh, a responsibility to my nearly 400,000 subscribers to continue to educate and keep you up to date and, and keep you safe uh, and to inform you on anything and everything that I can related to the wide world of legal weed because that's my life here in Colorado. I'm up in the middle of it. I'm in Weed Central. Uh, weed central, strain central. Ah, 
Shout out to Strange Central. <laughs> uh, he's got a podcast, right? Come, come, come do the show. Um, yeah, so uh, not breaking any rules. We are allowed to talk about freedom of speech, man. I could, I, I could have a podcast here on YouTube where I'm talking about all the times I did heroin in Tijuana. I've never been to Tijuana, and I've never done heroin, but... I could say I did. I could talk about it because that's the law. That's 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 the reality. Um, so I I, p- I pitched this idea to YouTube. I said, "Yo, scrap those old videos. We're gonna do a new po- video podcast form where it's just discussions on the same topic, still to keep you informed and and everything. But we're not gonna show it. We're not gonna we're not gonna show the weed. We're not gonna show smoking the weed. We're just gonna talk about it because you're allowed to freedom of speech." Come at me. Uh, so, I mean, completely compliant. And that's why I knew I could do it on a new YouTube channel or whatever. And they sent me back an email. And I said, wow, that's fascinating. That's really interesting, you know. And this was actually a human. It wasn't even AI. Uh, they said, that's great. We'll, we like that idea a lot. We'll, uh, we'll run it past the team and get back to you. And they, sw- they for real switched my account from deleted to pending. So, like, I was like, ah. I bet that sounded cool uh, uh, in your car. Ah, That's the sound I made when YouTube switched me to pending. Ah! So I was feeling pretty good. I was like, yo, I, call, I called my mom. And I was like, yo, guess what? I I, I think I might have figured it out. I might be onto something. Don't worry, ma. Your son's finna be all right, ma. Come at me, ma. <laughs> Love you, ma. Uh... And so I was, I was really stoked. And, you know, then the next morning I woke up and I got an email from YouTube. And I was like, mm, here it is. Warming up my hands to uh, to crack the letter, the YouTube email. I was super excited to see what they, they were going to. They said we were going to talk about and get back to you. I was fascinated. They were actually talking about the issue at the YouTube headquarters, real YouTube employees. So that was huge. That's something that's happened very rarely in this whole issue, this whole ordeal. Um, over the last few years even. Uh, but they emailed me and they said, uh, yo, we talked about it. LOL, JK, hate ya. Bye, Felicia. Uh, no, that's not what they said. Uh, they said, we talked about it and we decided that until federal legalization, we don't want you to even talk about marijuana on YouTube. Not, we're not talking about smoking it. We're not talking about sh- how to make it, how to do anything. We're not even showing it. We're just talking. I made it clear to them. And they're, at first, like I said, they are like, ooh, great idea. But then they got back to me and said, nope, no, sir. No, ma'am. Not today, crutch. Not today. And certainly not tomorrow. Um, so I don't know if that's clicked with you guys yet, but that is insane censorship. That is out of this world, next level, like batshit crazy censorship. It's like China up in here. Can I, how fast can I get banned from China? Hashtag uh, free Hong Kong. <laughs> uh, uh, hashtag Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> uh, uh, some other deep state stuff. Just to excite you and get the comment sections rolling. Um... No, they want to censor us. They said you can't even talk about weed on YouTube until federal legalization. That's not true, folks. That's not true, YouTube. Uh, I can talk. Well, I certainly am going to try. I can talk about weed because that's, uh, that's allowed. I can talk about whatever the hell I want. I can go on TV and you see it all the time. People talk about everything. You watch the news. You can talk. About things, yeah. Give them a warning. Give them an age restriction. Whatever you got to do. I'm a super big fan of ratings. That's why ratings exist. Uh, but I can't talk about it. What? What are you saying? What the hell? Uh, it's just complete bat shit. And then, and then they switched my they switched my YouTube channel from pending to again permanently deleted. Uh, so a, a small glimpse of hope for the weed world. Uh, and taken away, just like that. Excuse me here, folks. <coughs> uh, I think a real podcast would cut that out, right? They got, like, sound guys and editors. They're not just freak 
free casting it like we are here today on the crutch cast uh so yeah i mean youtube you're a damn fool uh and people need to know this that's i mean that's why i'm making this podcast is because i need this this is a story that needs to be out there you can't talk about you can't even talk about weed what the hell so i'm i'm very curious to see uh, if you're watching this on youtube and it's still up um awesome that's fucking cool uh, it should be because we're not breaking any rules. Uh, I, I just said the fuck word, so uh, it's definitely going to be age restricted, like it should be. Uh, and we're going to do things a little bit differently here. Um, e- and and you know the whole thing is like you know it's, it's YouTube's almost defeated me. YouTube's got me to the lowest, lowest, lowest place of my adult life. YouTube has harmed and damaged every aspect of my life uh and it's almost it's almost won the fight it is uh you know it won all the first few rounds and i was feeling good and and uh, you know hot on the fight for a while but uh they beat me the hell down into the dirt uh and i felt it and i almost i almost gave up folks i was as close as i could uh, so the reason I'm saying all these things, uh, is because I can't and I won't let YouTube win this fight. I will, I, you know, I, not only do I have interest in this as a hobby, not only do I feel like I have, I have a duty to share my perspective, especially to those people who are still affected by wrongful, uh, law, weed laws, l- weed illegalization. Yeah. My words are getting a little funny there. Um, I got to do it. I got to do it for me. I got to do it for them. I got to do it for you. And I can't let YouTube win. And you can't let YouTube win. And that's why we're here. We're going to keep talking about it. We're going to keep doing it uh, stronger than ever. Because regardless of YouTube's stupid corporate bullshit rules, whatever the hell's going on, every single day, more and more people are smoking weed for their first time or... uh, taking their first dab or rolling their first joint or or buying weed out there because more and more states every election are legalizing weed medically and recreationally. Uh, and that's just in this country. I mean, think about Canada where it's federally legalized. That means more and more people are finally becoming, like every day are becoming of age and maybe are interested in trying smoking. Uh, that number is there and it grows crazy more and more every day and it's growing faster and faster and will for at least a decade maybe two maybe even three decades you know what i mean uh that's just how the market is that's how it's going that's how it's going to go that's how it is youtube whether you like it or not youtube your turb uh the market's there the needs there the demands there and the right the freedom is there to uh to do so so youtube's not gonna win this fight in the end you know if i were to give up right now and then two years from now when president so-and-so legalizes weed federally then youtube's gonna be like oh fuck look at look at us we're idiots remember what we did remember how stupid we were we're gonna have to backtrack we're gonna have to support this and uh, when weed is normalized, not just legalized, then it's gonna, they're, they're going to have to treat it just like other shit on weed, too. Just like you got your video games, you, you got your makeups, you got all your, you know, you got your TikToks and your, and your, 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 your snapbacks and your, uh, your, 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 your glue, uh, slime, is that what the kids do? That's right. Uh it's and, and you got your weed that's just going to be a thing you know like right now people review fast food cuz that's normal or like energy drinks cuz that's normal uh and people are going to be reviewing weed because that's normal and they're going to be talking about weed because guess why can you guess why I'll pause so you can say it out loud in your car it's normal <laughs> uh so so I got to be there. I got to, I got to, we all got to be there. Even though YouTube's not going to be there. We all got to, we got to be ready for that. You know, we can't say right now in 2019, we, we shouldn't or can't, uh, talk about how, you know, fake cartridges are killing people. Talk about, you know, 
the safe ways to do things and the unsafe ways to do things. You know, right now, if YouTube didn't exist, I, I think everybody in the world would be taking red hot dabs just like because they're crazy. And I'm not saying YouTube's just at credit for or any, any weed tubers as a whole, even. I'm just saying, like, that's the kind of important information that you guys, the viewers, picked up from watching channels like, like mine. And that's, that's, I, I want to tell every dabber in the world to, to let that damn nail cool. It's better to take it too uh, cool than too hot, safety wise. I mean, you can always retorch it. Um, but we need we need to be telling people that we need to we need to keep learning we keep, need to keep educating, uh, and even though YouTube is being a damn loser at the t- point in time at the current moment, uh, we gotta keep going, you know, and that's what we're doing here. And you know, a little bit of the the, the format for that is, uh, as you guys can tell, uh, maybe you can tell, I'm high as hell right now. Your boy is zoinked. I've been feeling good. I prepared for this podcast because I knew that I wasn't going to smoke during. It was all about the pre-party. So let me let me let me give you a description of, of what we what we did today. So I had some some live sugar is what it was called, but it really just looked like like soft, crystally, waxy shatter. You feel me? You 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 Im, you got the image in your head, and it was a really nice golden color. It's like a soft, sugary, golden shatter. I had a gram of that, testing around 90% THC. And then I had a gram of, uh, of some fly distillate, testing at 93% THC with that natural green apple terpene infused for the flavor. And I melted that and squirted it and stirred that puppy together like it was no joke, like it was my job. I, I got it nice and hot and whipped it, if you will. Whipped it all the way together. Whipped it uh, until it was completely fused together in this like gooey, golden, s- beautiful smelling, beautiful tasting. Oh my god, the taste! Uh, this little, like putty, you know, uh, maybe not putty, uh, goop. I don't know. Y'all want to hit it with the close ups? Hit me up on Instagram at crutch underscore four twenty. That's how we're gonna do it. You know, I used to say hit it with the close ups and poop would be here in the video. But YouTube doesn't want that, so uh, we're going to put it on Instagram for the time being, even though, like, Instagram doesn't allow weed. I don't know. Where, what the hell are we doing? What's wrong with this world? What's wrong with me? Great question. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, then I, I, I dabbed probably half of that. So that was two grams. So I dabbed a whole gram this morning building up to, uh, to come in here to record this. And the taste, like I said, the green apple and the wax, oh, holy crap, it was so good. And it was somewhere like 91, 92% THC, so potent as hell. And I was slamming it on and refiring it and everything because I knew I needed to be good for here. Uh, and, you know, the high, it was, it, was, it was very, very clear. You know, it was a good, like, indica-leaning hybrid high but not enough to put me down. You know, I still had the energy and the motivation to come here and holler into this mic for, for a minute. Uh, this is weird. Look at that. If you're watching, uh, you, if you're watching, you obviously know what's going on. If you're listening, I'm moving the mic. I wonder what that sounds like on your end, but I think it like slowly fell. So I was hunched over trying to catch the mic at the bottom of the table. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You feel me? Hey, hey, hit that cartridge in your pocket. Take that cartridge out of your pocket and hit that baby. Ah, oh, yeah. Hold it in deep. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Let it go. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I just need to get you guys high. I need you I need you to be high in order to listen to this podcast. New rule. New no-no. Uh, new rule. You need to be high. You have to, or else I'm going to arrest you. You can't listen to me unless you're high. If you're not high, you can leave. Uh, so, man, we've been talking for a good while. I'm, I'm just free-flowing. There's no clocks. I didn't want to conform to any time or any format. I just wanted to get raw, get real with you, get down to the, uh, to the, real, the real shit. Not a mean. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm really high still. It's it's lasted. I've been floating. Oh, so I took like I dabbed like a gram of that, and then on my way into the uh, the theater to record this podcast, I picked up a 500 milligram disposable cartridge just to have something a little extra, and it tasted like garbage. First off, I took it out of the package, and it was shitty, wasteful packaging as most uh, most things are in the weed world <laughs> currently. Need to fix that problem. That's another podcast discussion some other day. Uh, but the whole damn battery, the whole, it must've been leaking because it was all just covered in the distillate and it was sticky as fuck. So in order to hold it, to hit it, you had to get your hands covered in some damage, huge turn off. Why? What the hell? Gross. But I was like, fuck it. I still want to get high. So then I was chiefing on as much as I could. And the taste was so boo boo, man. It's supposed to be banana kush and it was just like banana tush. Banana tush. Whew. Banana tush. Uh, so it tasted really bad. And the hit size was, was really small. Not a good cartridge experience. But silver lining, it was testing at 89%. And the high was, it was clean as a mofo. It was kind of like a sativa-leaning hybrid is what it felt like. I don't know what banana kush is supposed to be. But uh, I felt the boost. Not enough to give me anxiety, but I felt like, oh, yeah, now we're talking. Now you boys, hi. I want to get hi. So hi. This will be interesting. Y'all, y'all want to do something here? Before we finish up this story, let's uh, let's take a smoke break. <laughs> you feel me? You know, I'm going to keep you with me on the audio form. But as far as the uh, video form, as you see, I'm out the, I'm out the frame. I'm out the way. Let's grab this. I just I just took the whole mic stand with me for you listening. All right. Oh, yeah. You hear that? Anyway, we're inhaling. You ready? Ready? Inhale. Woo. And we exhale just like that. Mmm. A little bit of, oh, man, it's that banana kush. The taste is not good, but the high, like I said, it's hitting me right away, right where it needs to. You feel me? What's up, guys? Hello, visual viewers, Vis- visual li- listeners. <coughs> oh, yeah, I needed that. Oh, your boy's back. <laughs> I was already feeling stoned, but that got me. I feel that one in my face now. Uh, so where were we? Oh yeah, we're talking about how YouTube made a damn fool of themselves and, uh, 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 deleted us and said we can't even talk about weed on the internet, which is stupid censorship. Uh, making a damn fool of themselves, yeah. But then I said all that good stuff about how uh, I can't let them stop me. Uh, then we're talking about how things are gonna go. From here on out in the crutch world, y'all. Uh, like I said, this is, is obviously the first time I've ever done a podcast. Still getting used to it. It's going to be crazy to hear it and post and edit it. Uh, no, not edit it. Well, I mean, put it together. It's going to be, I'm going to leave it uncut like this, baby. Uh, nice and raw. No edit needed. Hashtag no filter. Hashtag this video woke up like this. Uh, baby. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to be talking about how it's going to go. Um, we're going to put it out through Anchor, which is an app that is really cool and puts it out on every major audio streaming platform. And uh, so, you know, whether you're on iTunes podcast, Google podcast, Spotify, whatever, wherever you're at, whatever you prefer, make sure to follow us, subscribe. Uh, I don't know how it works. Follow this podcast, The Crutch Cast, the podular casting of Crutch 420. Uh, so hit us up there so you can listen to us maybe when you're driving at work or at school. Um, but also, what's going on with the visual end of this? Where are you watching this right now? Good question. Uh, as as it's been established in this video, we're back at it at Odds with the Man here on YouTube, the new Crutchcast channel. So subscribe here for our video podcast here. I'm also going to throw these on the Crutch Vimeo, Vimeo Vimeo.com slash Crutch420. Uh, just as a backup, uh, you can subscribe there if you'd like as well. And then we're also going to put this on the WeTube. Shout out to the WeTube. Y'all, y'all know what that is. It's a, it's a small startup app that's just like YouTube, but only for weed. 
which is pretty cool. I'm, I'm down with that. I'm excited. We got a lot of things to get into about the weed tube in just a second here in this podcast. Uh, so that's where you, you know we're going to have the, the, the video podcast on Vimeo, YouTube, and WeTube, the audio podcast, wherever you get your audio podcasts. We're going to do all our close-ups and cool stuff on Instagram and get a lot more heavy on Instagram production because we're not doing the old-style YouTube videos on the YouTube channel. But we are still occasionally going to do the old-style Crutch YouTube videos on the weed tube because it's made for weed. I can't get in trouble for smoking weed on the weed tube. Sounds pretty good to me. I don't know about you, but, you know, go where go where you need to go. I need to go to the weed tube for, for our normal sessions. Uh, and, uh, you know, also like some, I'm going to start making some videos of the pre-sesh for the podcast that we'll put on WeTube. So if you watch the podcast, video podcast and WeTube, play them back to back. It's kind of like the, the sesh before, then it goes straight into the, the conversation. Yes, the conversation here in the podcast. I got the cans on. Got my old cans going, which is crazy because uh, I can hear my voice. A new thing. I recorded 500 videos for Crutch. Could never hear my voice being monitored before. So uh, I'm kind of having fun with it. It's also kind of weird. But uh, I assume you get used to it as it goes on. Um, what else? What else? I, my brain, I, I'm high, guys. Uh, whew. I just got high brain right there. I got so much to talk about still. Do not worry. Oh, yeah. What's going to go on with this podcast? Obviously, today, the guest is me. I'm having me as a guest on episode one of the Crutch Cast because we got a lot to talk about, as you guys know, if you've made it this far into the podular casting. Uh, but we're going to mix it up. You know, I'm going to have whenever I have enough in, in, enough important information to share with you guys, I'm going to I'm going to hit you with podcasts without a guest, just me as the guest. Uh, and then the other times we're going to have some great guests to have some great conversations about the uh, the crutch or not about, about, about the weed world in general. Um, and the reason I'm saying that is because I was just talking about the weed tube. We got some uh, great people, some great friends on the weed tube just up north and here in Colorado. So uh, we're super excited. We're going to get uh, the young Aaron, Aaron Richard, you know, from the weed tube, the weed young weed CEO on the channel. Um, they're going to get the new CEO, our friend Ryan, Ghost Stoner Life. Uh, so if you're interested in hearing about the weed tube, look out for those upcoming episodes. I also got a lot of friends who immediately volunteered to be on the podcast in the weed world. Um, the one I'm like most excited about is I had no idea he lived so close to me, Pedro's Grow Room. Uh, if you guys don't know, if you don't follow him on Instagram, look up Pedro's Grow Room. Uh, I follow him for years just because he has the best. He's he's got like an insane nug smasher where he presses the finest rosin you have ever seen, and it just oozes out by the ton. You know what I mean? I'm talking about that gold dabbage, uh, <laughs> dabbage cabbage. You know what I'm saying, brah? Dabbage cabbage. Uh, then we got some musicians. You know, I used to be in the music world as a video music director and a concert videographer. So I made a lot of good friends doing that. And so uh, got some friends who took off who who, who uh, you guys might recognize. And if not, you can at least Google. Um, so we'll have some great conversations with some artists, uh, some people who are working in the weed world on the content creating side like us, but also a ton of people who are in the weed world just business wise and I'm super excited to be able to to give you guys that lens not only through through my eyes but through all the people I know out here and I've worked with doing crutch for the last five years um, people like CEOs of companies that make dabs uh, people who own giant mix labs who are the people who are actually processing your dabs and shipping them out to the dispensary uh, people whose job it is to do research and find the new hottest ways of testing and monitoring, monitoring everything. Just, you know, every, any we, we have a lineup of guests that we will slowly release to you via a few networks, which we'll get into here in a second, that they all have amazing things to tell you and have amazing lenses for you to look through at the legal weed world. Fuck you, you two. <laughs> Ah, oh, man, how you guys feeling? How long has it been? <sighs> so, got some guests, but on like I said, the other times, it's going to be like this, homies, homeboys, homegirls. 
It's just me and you hanging out in 4K. I didn't try to get all pretty for this video. You know how I used to put my hair up for the videos? I said, fuck it. It's a podcast. I'm tired. Of, I'm sick and tired. Uh, so we could just come here and do this. I just... Hey, hey, hey. The fucking cars outside. Can you hear that on the on the podular cast? Can you hear the cars outside? Um, and where what what what's the frequency of these? Right now, I'm gonna be dropping these air Friday once a week. Um, just because I feel like that's a a good level to do it. Just getting used to podcasting. But you know, if I like it and y'all like it down the road, I don't see why we can't step it up to uh, maybe two or three episodes a week, just depending how it goes. But for right now. Airy Friday, tune in. Whether you want to listen to me in your car at work, whether you want to watch me here in 4K, whatever you want to do, uh, tune into the Crutch Cast. Subscribe to the Crutch Cast. Follow the Crutch Cast. Have a nice sit down conversation with your boy. Learn what's going on in the weed world. Um, learn what's going on in my world. Oh my God. Not only did I have all those, <laughs> those car issues they were talking about, yeah, that's. In in six months, three decades. Oh yeah, so I didn't even finish that. So I bought. I had to buy this third used car and spent all my money uh, that was from sponsors for you for Crutch YouTube videos, upcoming Crutch YouTube videos that never happened. Uh, that car died two days ago, so I was out with car. I was without a car again, and I was just oh messing with me. But I was, I was focused enough on the uh, podcast to not let it get me down. And we were able to fix that car in a day's time, so I am currently rolling on the road. But, you know, I was saying I had to spend all that sponsor money on all these stupid car issues, uh, and now I don't have any money. Um, I've got companies. For real, these guys, I've got companies. Uh, well, it makes sense. They paid me to do uh, to sponsor a Crutch YouTube video Then now I can't upload because YouTube deleted me. So they're like, give me my money back. 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 Which, like I said, is completely understandable and reasonable. And I would do the exact same thing because you want to get what you paid for. Uh, here's the deal, though. I ain't got that money, obviously. You see, here, you, have you li- if you've made it this far in the podcast, you understand that I'm not in a position to be like, oh, yes, sir, here's your, here's your money. I did not use it. Um... So I got to work on that. I either got to get this podcast successful enough to uh, to get them interested to advertise on this podcast or get it successful enough to get the money to pay them back. Whatever it is, if you're listening, I appreciate your support in Crutch 420, and I uh, encourage you to wait it out. Just wait. We're going to rebuild, baby. YouTube can't hold us back forever, baby. Uh, so... We'll see how that goes. I'll give you updates on that. So, lost my channel, lost my job, lost my car, lost all of my fucking money, um, and lost my ability to get money, obviously. That's what happens when you lose your job. Uh, but also, I was hit all of a sudden with, like, people demanding money back. So, I went, like, negative money all of a sudden like that. All because YouTube wants to be China up in here, wants to be Winifred the Pooh. You know what I'm saying? Uh... So that that's how it, that's one way that this whole process has crazily affected my life. Um, but uh, other things in my life, like I said earlier in this podcast, we're going to talk about my house. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for well over a year now. What the hell happened to the Crutch House? You started so hot on that, and then you, then it, then what? Where where's your house, dog? Um, so here's what happened. We decided to because. Uh, we had issues with YouTube, and we had issues with every landlord we had because we our job was to smoke weed, and, you know, that doesn't look good for a landlord's perspective anytime. So we're like, screw wasting money renting. Let's build a house with a studio in it. Nobody can stop us. No one can stop us. That sounds funny because I'm pretty sure YouTube just stopped us. Uh, anyways, um, so we were like, okay, Let's, we obviously don't have enough money to just like build a build a house, y'all. Uh, but we did have a little bit of savings from the success of YouTube being my job and everything. So we were like, what can we do? Do we do a tiny house? Do we do what? What's the cheapest way we can get a house of our own, on our own land, our own property? Uh, and we came up with a method to spend $40,000 and convert a giant 
two-story shed into a house. Great idea, huh? I know I mean, some of you guys are probably interested in that. Some of y'all are like, what the hell are you talking? Crutch, way to just piss away your 40 grand. Um, so long story short, two, two years into the process to wrap that up, we are 65 grand in. So we're already $15,000 past what was supposed to finish this house, and it's going to take another 15. So what we thought was going to take 40 is going to take 80. Uh, so we just simply did not have the resources. It kind of ran flat there. Uh, now we have all these issues with YouTube. Uh, so that's the house update for the crutch for the crutch crutch studio crutch house. Um, I still just like just like I think someday YouTube will put us back. I think someday I'll finish that damn house. But for now, we are doing what we got to do to get by. Uh, and uh, Crutchcast right here is is all of a sudden just a fun hobby. I don't. I currently at this episode one don't have the pressures of of investors, of sponsorships, of expectations. I'm just kind of feeling good. Back to round one. Uh, so that's nice. Perhaps, I mean, in best case scenario, it picks up and, you know, we'll try to balance that. But for right now, I don't know anybody, anything on this podcast. And I just kind of get a start over here. So I'm feeling real good on that. I uh, feel optimistic, man. And you know why? It's because I smoke a lot of weed. And we got to remember, no matter what happens, no matter how sad you get, you got to you got to stay high. You got to keep smoking weed because it'll help you remember that everything's going to be okay. And no matter what, you can figure it out. I mean, even if YouTube deletes you twice and you lose three cars and you get sued for a bunch of money, you can still sit down, be high as fuck, and do a podcast in 4K to some of your friends online. And uh, for as high as I am right now, that seems pretty damn good. I'll take that any day. Uh, so that might be it. We might have just done it. I mean, I think I think you get it. You get the story of uh, how YouTube is being insane with their censorship. I mean, I wish I had more power to to call them out, but just let people know that they are they're being China's over there. You know what I mean? That sounds a little offensive. Sorry if I offended anybody there. They are be they're doing censorship like this wasn't America. Like this was another country that has stupid bullshit censorship. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> All right, well, this is fun. I definitely understand that it, once you record for an hour or two, we work up a bladder situation, so uh, we'll address that. But uh, I hope you guys ha- are feeling great. I hope you guys uh, walk away from this podcast, episode one, being like, hell yeah, I'm feeling good in the world because you can't let the man put you down uh, permanently. You always got to get back. Uh, I get knocked down, but I get up again, and you're never going to get me down, and I get knocked down, and I get up again, and then you're never going to get me down. Sorry. You get the message, guys. <laughs> well, uh, thank you so much for tuning in for episode one of the Crutchcast. Please, like I said, download the episode on your, on your, if you're watching the video, download the audio. If you're listening to the audio, watch the video. Uh, share it with your friends, follow all the pages. Let's get this going. Let's get number one on trending, uh, Apple pod, number one podcast in the world. No, I'm just kidding. Let's just get high together and have some good times every Friday on the crutch cast and not let the man put us down. So most importantly, folks, you guys know what you got to do out there. You got to stay high. You got to stay high. Is it over? Is that how this works? How do you end a podular casting? Uh, Stay high. Peace out. Woo!